Ora malta, bom dia e sejam todos bem-vindos a mais um videozinho. Ora bem, aí está então o novo Nissan Rogue que à partida vai dar origem ao novo Nissan X-Trail, ok? Na geração anterior o Rogue era o X-Trail, versão dos Estados Unidos, portanto nesta versão deve-se manter o mesmo. Vai bater certo com as imagens que eu tinha divulgado e com os renderings uh, e portanto já foi apresentado. As únicas diferenças desta versão para a versão europeia, portanto, a versão que eu vou falar hoje do Rogue, para a versão europeia, o X-Trail, provavelmente vão se ficar só a nível dos motores. E mesmo assim, uh, eu fico aqui um bocadinho incerto, porque não sei se este modelo, ou o X-Trail, vai ter uma versão renovada na Europa. Okay? Vocês sabem que isto anda tudo... A, a aliança Renault-Nissan anda ali meio complicada, eles querem tirar modelos do mercado europeu, querem focar a Nissan mais nos Estados Unidos e na Austrália, portanto, vamos ver se isto vai sair. Mas se sair cá, este modelo então que vos vou mostrar hoje é então o novo Nissan X-Trail na sua versão americana, o Nissan Rogue. Uh, para algumas das, das características que eles destacam, o Family Hub, uh, que é uma nova linguagem a nível dos interiores, oferece interiores mais confortáveis, mais pensados de maneira a serem mais práticos, mais funcionais, têm uh, chave inteligente às quatro portas, o ar-condicionado trizona, o Pro Pilot numa versão mais avançada uh, com a assistência do Navilink, o Nissan Safety Shield 370, carregamento sem fios, uh, aqui uma que é uma novidade muito, muito engraçada, Wireless uh, Apple CarPlay, ou seja, a possibilidade de termos então o Apple CarPlay sem fios. Falta agora fazer-se o mesmo para o Android Auto. É uma das coisas que eu pessoalmente não acho grande piada, mas é de facto termos que usar o Android Auto ou o Apple CarPlay nos carros que permitem ter que andar sempre lá com os fios pendurados. Aqui, bom avanço, sim senhora, o Apple CarPlay já sem, sem fios, a ver se o Android Auto faz o mesmo. Uma nova plataforma, portanto inteiramente nova, isto não partiu só de um, de um restyle, que permite então uma experiência de condução mais dinâmica e um, um novo rol, uma nova panóplia de assistências à condução. Eu não vou estar aqui a falar de todos os extras, porque senão também nunca mais daqui saía, e tenho os vídeos da Nissan a seguir em que eles vão apresentar isto. Mas algumas das coisas que... O Nissan Safety Shield 360 conta, travagem de emergência em caso de detecção de pedestres, uh, o Blind Spot Warning, o, um, os avisos de pessoas a passar atrás quando estamos a fazer marcha atrás, o Lane Departure Warning, portanto a mudança de faixa uh, sem mudança de faixa por distração, os máximos automáticos. Uh, o rear, auto, a travagem automática quando se está a fazer manobras em marcha atrás. 10 airbags uh, extra, para além daqueles que são mais comuns. 10 airbags extra. Uh, pá, isto conta aqui com uma, uma data de coisas. A nível de interiores. Fala aqui um bocadinho a nível de interiores. Não, não vou estar a adiantar muito mais em relação aos vídeos deles. Carregador sem fios. Depois conta com uh, portas USB Type-C. Type-A, o carregador sem fios vai até o um máximo de 15 watts, uh, tem um display digital com 10.8 polegadas, tem um digital dashboard com 12.3 polegadas, um, mais, vejo aqui, ok, este é o ecrã digital, o, o display digital, é 12.3 polegadas nas versões mais equipadas e depois um ecrã central de 7 polegadas ou então de 5 polegadas nas versões mais básicas. Portanto, vamos ter aqui vários tipos de ecrã. Uh, temos então também já o, o Rear View Monitor, o Around View, que é a visão 360. Portanto, aqui temos aqui então, umas... todos os upgrades que já faltavam ao Nissan X-Trail. A nível de motores, a nível de motores, eu também já vi aqui. A nível de motores, ele vai contar com um motor, atenção, isto é motores para os Estados Unidos, ok? Se sair na Europa, a versão europeia, de certeza que vai ter motores diferentes. Nos Estados Unidos, ele conta então com um motor de 2,5 litros, 
4 uh, cilindros com o Nissan Direct Injection Gasoline System, portanto injeção direta de combustível. 181 cavalos mais 11 cavalos que a versão anterior e depois a nível de tração está aqui a tração o, ele conta então com um sistema de tração às quatro rodas o veículo dynamic control uh, um sistema de tração todo o terreno permanente aqueles modos que eles têm vai então contar com três modos de condução sport standard e eco e depois a nível de tração conta então com os modos off road snow standard eco e sport por isso, isto foi, foi aqui uma, uma, uma breve revisão da, da, da press release da Nissan. Mas nada melhor que ficarmos então com os vídeos da Nissan em que eles uh, vão falar e vão apresentar então o novo Nissan Rogue, a versão americana do nosso x e muito provavelmente o nosso Nissan x para 2021. Por isso, por hoje, então está tudo. Até para a próxima. Um grande abraço. Deixa-te então ficar com os vídeos a apresentar o novo Nissan Rogue barra x -Trail.
Hi, I'm Jared Haslam, Vice President of Product Planning at Nissan North America, and I'd like to introduce you to the all-new 2021 Nissan Rogue. Rogue is our best-selling vehicle in the U.S. today, so this might be Nissan's most significant redesign ever. It's also part of the biggest new product rollout in our history, one of five new or redesigned models we will begin producing in the next year. When it goes on sale this fall, the all-new Rogue will jump to the lead in the largest segment in the U.S. auto industry. Why? Because Nissan has focused on all the key areas buyers care about in a mid-size crossover. Bold design, fantastic driving dynamics, a family-friendly interior to make drives comfortable and enjoyable for all the occupants, front seat or back, leading-edge technology to make your life easier, and finally, comprehensive safety to give you peace of mind behind the wheel. Many of the buyers in the midsize crossover class are young families. While they want a vehicle that meets their needs for space and flexibility, they still want style. They want their vehicle to stand out. And that's exactly what the all-new Nissan Rogue does. The first thing you'll notice about the Rogue is the athletic design that conveys capability and strength. From the front, you immediately see a new interpretation of Nissan's signature V-Motion grille. Notice the new standard multi-level LED headlights with the movement from the fenders bending over and separating the two lamps. It's a powerful look. The sides feature a distinctive new U-shape, one of many advanced design features that were introduced on the stunning Nissan cross-motion concept. And of course, the new Rogue is offered in a range of attractive colors, including five new two-tone combinations. But the all-new Rogue is about more than just its head-turning style. We've loaded the vehicle with tons of features designed to make it the most family-friendly Rogue ever. For example, even before you get inside, Rogue offers Nissan Intelligent Key on all four doors, a first on any Nissan vehicle. This makes it easier for parents helping young children into the back seat to open the doors without getting a key fob or going to a front door first. And once you get inside, you'll see that this is where Rogue's family-friendly credentials really come to life with safety, utility, and connectivity. The 2021 Rogue features Nissan's very popular NASA-inspired zero-gravity seating for all passengers with available heated seats both in the front and rear. Any of the three second-row seats can accommodate a child's safety seat, including the middle position. Created with today's active families in mind, there are thoughtful storage and utility features throughout. For example, the new butterfly opening front center console allows for ease of passback access to the second row. And the new e-shifter allows for more storage space under the center console. There's a class exclusive tri-zone climate control so parents can set the temperature for rear seat occupants separate from the driver and front passenger. The motion activated tailgate can be opened with a simple kick under the bumper. It opens to a large functional cargo space featuring Nissan's improved divide and height system which provides secure, hidden, and reconfigurable storage. There's even a designated area to carry a gallon jug to keep it from bouncing around the cargo space. Once you're in the driver's seat, the 2021 Rogue features a trio of digital displays that put all the information you need in just the right place. This includes an available 10.8 inch full color heads up display to keep your eyes on the road, a 12.3 inch digital meter, and a large floating nine inch touchscreen display. And there's available wireless smartphone charging, wireless Apple CarPlay connectivity, and Nissan Connect remote services with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. We've also added an available 10-speaker Bose premium audio system and beautiful semi-aniline leather appointed seating in the new top-of-the-line platinum grade. But every 2021 Rogue features first-class comfort and amenities for both front and rear passengers. In terms of safety and technology, Rogue was one of the first Nissan vehicles globally to offer ProPilot Assist, which helps make driving less stressful, both in stop-and-go traffic and the open highway. We now offer available ProPilot Assist with NaviLink, with a 30-second stop-and-hold feature in traffic. Linked with the Nissan door-to-door -door navigation system, it can recognize speed limits and change speed automatically, recognize upcoming curves from the shape of the lane and slow down as necessary, determine traffic, and suggest new routes. But the most important thing to parents of young children is keeping their family safe. The new 2021 Rogue offers the most standard safety features in its class, including Nissan's Safety Shield 360 across the entire lineup. 
This means every Rogue starts with six active safety features, including blind spot warning, forward and rear automatic braking, lane departure warning, and rear cross traffic alert. There are also 10 standard airbags and available blind spot intervention and traffic sign recognition. Plus, you'll get standard rear door alert, a patented feature now available in many Nissan vehicles to help parents remember with a quick honk of the horn to not leave precious cargo behind in the rear seat of the hot car. Once you're on the road, Rogue offers enhanced driving dynamics with a new standard vehicle motion control system and available enhanced intelligent all-wheel drive. We benchmark steering and handling in some of the best premium and luxury crossovers. Every 2021 Rogue features a new multi-link rear suspension design, along with a new rack electric power steering with a quicker gear ratio for enhanced maneuverability. There's also a new, more powerful 2.5 liter engine rated at 181 horsepower with even better fuel economy. So there you have it. The all new 2021 Rogue has been redesigned to make life easier in every way. It has the interior features and functionality that make it truly family friendly. Outside, it has an athletic, modern design that stands out from the crowd. It has a strong safety package, including standard Nissan Safety Shield 360, and it has improved driving dynamics that reward you every time you slip behind the wheel. In short, this is simply the most technologically advanced Rogue ever, and the most exciting. Thanks for watching. Please look for additional information on the 2021 Rogue and other exciting new vehicles coming from Nissan later this year. Hello everyone, my name is Alfonso Albaisa. I'm Senior Vice President of Design for Nissan Motor Limited. Hello everybody. I am Satoru Tai, Executive Design Director of Nissan Design. Tyson and I are very excited today that we're going to be able to show you the development and the process and the thoughts behind the design of the 2021 Rogue. As everyone knows, I mean, as a Nissan designer, we have the great privilege of designing from A to Z, like you saw in the, in the video. We have a great portfolio of exciting cars, but there is no car that we sell more than this one. There's millions of customers who have found a connection with the Rogue, and it's a car that they use every day, and they love every day, and they move their families. And at the end of the day, when it comes to designing the new Rogue, we're carrying this with us, that we know it's something that is satisfying our customers every day, and we really need to take it to another level. So I think we each probably have uh, different thoughts under this circumstance, but Tyson, what were you thinking about this monumental task? Yeah, as you say, this is so important for us, so, and successful. So I was thinking, we were thinking, how can we keep this uh, kind of rogueness, which everybody knows and they're expecting, and also how can we create a future Nissan's direction so that's newness and uh, keeping uh, rogueness. That's our. Uh, this is a, a great point Tyson's bringing up because rogueness has huge meaning because, again, we're talking millions of satisfied customers. But the world moves, and one of the satisfactions our customers have is they want to feel they bought something fresh and exciting um, that still satisfies all of these needs. So, as Tyson and his team started to, to give the new rogue its shape. Um, they were never losing this, this focus on, on the customer. So um, maybe we get into some details now. How about we, we start talking about the front? One of the things we started learning right away was that our, even though our customers are very happy with the Rogue, but they had some dreams about something a little bit more rugged, more adventurous in feel. So as designers, you know, we also had that feeling in our own hearts. And we looked at the Rogue and we decided, let's see what it looks like if the hood was much more straight and the front was a bit more blunt to give it this powerful, truly SUV feeling. And I think on Tyson, what other aspects of this during the development did you, did you find? Yes, 
So uh, we wanted to create a you know, new Nissan face and also we want to keep the rawness. So we use the V motion, but uh, we call it the double V motion. The thick, thick portion is showing kind of a rugged feeling, then adding one thin layer to create a more advanced feeling. And mm. same for headlamps. Actually, this is a split for headlamps, but uh, actually, when it's lit, it's a large signature. Mm. That's a kind of evolution of a uh, current role. And what I love what you guys did is that also this movement. So the split lamps are actually somehow split because the fender is, yeah. is coming over. And I, I felt that right from the beginning, it gave it a very dynamic but powerful expression. I think these were the important parts of the new Rogue. So what the designers did was right away, they set this horizontal attitude the bone, as you can see here, is very straight. The roof, very straight. And the hood, also straight. So what this gave us is a very rugged, full, strong, assertive feeling at a glance. And from the beginning, Tyson was talking about how do we mix these sense of rugged with other kind of nuances. Um, can you walk us through some of those? Yes. So um, we created this unique U-shape highlight. We call it U-shape highlight. So this unique invention can create a straightness, this nuanced surface combined. Then I think that is one of the character of rogueness. And this really helped us set up other aspects of the car which we're about to get to. From the very beginning, we were thinking about two-tone color body. So, to make the two-tone color more attractive, we created uh, this unique chrome rail, and also we integrated this unique rogue icon DPR graphics. So, this side view graphics is for this attractive two-tone body. What I really like from the first time I saw those sketches that you guys made is that somehow this two-tone makes the body feel stronger yes. and more recognizably rugged. So I, I really love how, how you did that. Now, let's take a walk around to the rear and take a look at some of the ideas that we were following there. Because uh, as we mentioned before, we started having this sense that we want this rugged SUV stance. So what Tyson's team did is the side glass became more vertical and the rear glass also more vertical. So it really gave this tough SUV feeling, but also increased dramatically the functionality of the new Rogue. Also, another f strong element is this rear fender became so strong and so muscular. Um, but then Tyson started to work on other details. Do you want to touch on some of those? Yes, uh, with that package, um, tend to be the boxier shape we make. But uh, with this uh, chiseled surface, without sacrificing internal space, we can create more interesting and premium expression. Mm. Well, I really love this. Stepping inside, our, our designers really wanted to enhance the sense of space in the, the new Rogue, so they did a few things. They create a very thin instrument panel that's very horizontal and goes all the way from A pillar to A pillar. And But one of the things that I love about this project is how you were talking about bringing reward to our customer. Um, do you want to explain to us some of those, those areas of reward? Yes, uh, we want to show it as a kind of spaciousness Yes, maximum. Then also we want to show the kind of protected feeling. So we created a layered construction, yet uh, each one of those surfaces are kind of rich. Mm. That's what we are trying to create. And also you, you being a lover of technology, you also mix this sense of technology and luxury and all of this stuff together. How did, how did um, yeah, you that's do right. that? 
Actually, this time we, ha we can have this uh, shift by wire technology. So we could create this bridge like uh, floated center console, which, which can show spaciousness and the premiumness and the usable storage mm. same time. Yeah, that's great. And also, I mean, we're not talking about it right now, but the sense of space in the back seat and in the utility of this car. On the one hand, the customer, of course, is going to feel like, wow, this is such a rich and great feeling cabin. But on the other side is, wow, this is the most functional cabin that you can, you can do. So um, I think that we are we're very happy with the interior and this mix of technology and safety and also richness. Thank you, Tyson, for walking us through. Uh, your great design and your team's design and for everyone else I really hope you visit us at NissanUSA.com or NissanNews.com where you'll get many more details about the 2021 Nissan Rogue. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Robin Morio from Nissan North America. Today, I want to take you through some of the safety and technology features that make the all-new 2021 Nissan Rogue such an intuitive vehicle for everyday and weekend family adventures. Let's take a closer look at how the new Rogue makes family life easier to navigate, no matter what's on the family calendar. It's Monday, and you're off to school. The Rogue rear doors are wider than the previous design and open a full 85 degrees for easy entry and exit for all your second row passengers. You'll notice a child safety seat can be positioned in any of the three seating positions, including the middle position. The floating console in front offers open storage access below, a butterfly opening for an easy reach to the rear seat. There's available heated front and rear seats and remote engine start with climate control so the Rogue can be warmed or cool before you even leave the house. Also, there's a class-exclusive tri-zone climate control, letting the second row passengers control their own temperature, separate from the front seat occupants. The rear doors also feature available class-exclusive integrated sunshades for the windows, perfect for shading infant car seats. As you drive, you activate the heads-up display, which at 10.8 inches is the largest in the compact SUV segment. There's also an available fully customizable 12.3 inch digital dashboard display and a floating nine inch touchscreen display, which allow you to customize and enhance your driving experience. While some of your fellow road warriors are distracted, as always, you're enjoying Rogue's all around protection from the standard Nissan Safety Shield 360, a collection of six advanced technologies, including automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection and rear automatic braking. Okay, you're feeling good about the commute, but suddenly hit an unexpected delay. No problem. The 2021 Rogue offers both Google Maps and Waze Maps with voice recognition, helping you switch between the map apps for the preferred view of the route conditions or avoid construction zones. On the highway, you engage Rogue's innovative ProPilot Assist, which has been enhanced for 2021 to ease the stress of stop and go driving. Okay. Fast forward to Saturday morning and shopping with the family. The kids beat you to the car and can unlock the rear doors through the four-door intelligent key system, which can unlock that door or all the doors as needed. You've got shopping bags and dry cleaning to drop off in your hands, so you utilize the motion-activated liftgate to access the large compartment area. Then you slip into the NASA-inspired zero-gravity seats which provide exceptional comfort and spinal support. Shopping complete, you put your purchases in back, taking advantage of the innovative class-exclusive divide and hide cargo system and the convenient storage spaces for items such as gallon jugs of water or milk. Rogue also features Nissan's innovative rear door alert system, created by a pair of Nissan engineers slash moms to help remind you of important things left in the rear seat. Rear door alert is standard on all grades. Next weekend, it's an overnight camping trip. 
the cabin is quiet with intrusion of outside noise controlled by additional NVH enhancements. The noise inside, supplied by the family, we can't do anything about. But thank goodness for an array of USB Type C and Type A charging ports. That's a quick overview of the all new 2021 Rogue's exceptional utility and comfort features, which have been engineered to make family life easier. For more information, please check out nissannews.com or nissanusa.com. Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Andy Christensen, and in the next few minutes, I want to take you through one of the key advanced technologies offered on the all-new 2021 Nissan Rogue, Copilot Assist with NaviLink. Rogue was one of the first Nissan vehicles globally to offer Propilot Assist, a hands-on driver assist system that reduces the hassle of stop-and-go driving. Since Propilot Assist was introduced in the 2018 model year, more than 200,000 vehicles equipped with Propilot Assist have been sold in the U.S. Today, ProPilot Assist is offered on Rogue, Leaf, Ultima, and Rogue Sport. As many of you have experienced ProPilot Assist know, it combines intelligent cruise control with steering assist to help the driver control acceleration, braking, and steering in both heavy and flowing traffic situations. For 2021, we're adding a new ProPilot Assist with NaviLink that greatly enhances its capabilities, including an extended stop and hold time of up to 30 seconds in freeway traffic. This means Rogue can remain stopped and then automatically continue without the driver re-engaging the function for up to 30 seconds. A key feature of the new ProPilot Assist with NaviLink is its link with the Nissan door-to-door -door navigation system. This means the system can recognize speed limit changes and either prompt the driver to accept the new speed or change the vehicle set speed automatically. It can also recognize upcoming curves, junctions, or freeway exits from the navigation map data and slow down as necessary. New ProPilot Assist with NaviLink is standard on Rogue Platinum and available on Rogue SL. It's one of the many new advanced features available with the 2021 Rogue. For more information, please check out nissannews.com or nissanusa.com. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Chris Reed. I'm the Senior Vice President for R&D in the Nissan Technical Center in Farmington Hills, Michigan. I'm gonna talk about the all new 2021 Nissan Rogue. So what we did is we looked at the structure and said, can this be the most efficient structure we need it to be? And so we changed the fundamental structure of the connection of the front to the rear of the vehicle, how the, uh, the side members connect is more fluid and connected. Then we looked at how to make it stronger and more rigid. How do you do that? You do it with high strength steel. Everybody does that, but we've really increased the amount of it. We went from 19 to 30% high strength steel in the body. This is about increasing rigidity, 27% increase in rigidity. At the same time, you know, we want better fuel economy, we want better performance, and how do you do that? Well, mass reduction is always a key part of that. We always did that before, but this is now integrated with the new, new platform. So we took out 20 kilograms of mass. This is about the efficient design, as I talked about, with the kind of the connection of the side members to better absorb the crash uh, you know, issues. In addition to the, to the simplicity of the structure, and finally, with like the closure. So like the hood and the fender and the doors now are gonna be aluminum. This is a big accomplishment from our manufacturing teams to be able to support. But this combination makes for a great structure and a platform to work from. So next is uh, noise and vibration and harshness. We call it MVH. The stiffness of the body really makes a big difference. And then there's the next thing, which is the fundamental layout. So if you take an existing vehicle and you think about the space between the parts, the space of an insulator between the, the dash of the car and the, and the instrument panel or the steering wheel or the seats and the floor, you've got to put the right space at the beginning. If you try to fix it later, it doesn't work. So you've got the space that you put for all the various uh, you know, insulators and absorbers you know, after starting from the fundamental stiffness of the body. So stiffness, then space, then features, things like the right kind of glass, 
the right kind of thickness, the right insulators, the right package all together instead of patchwork. This is what we've done. We, we're, we're confident that the MVH will be second to none in the compact SUV segment. Now we're going to move on to our fundamentals, so kind of handling and the feeling that you get, the confidence that you get when you drive the vehicle. Now how do we do that? Well, we're talking about the suspension. Again, we, we, we spared no expense. New suspension. What do we do? Front and rear. First front. So front, we went from our kind of a conventional layout, a subframe layout that we had, where it was soft mounted. We've changed the whole concept. Increase the number of mounts from four to six and go from a soft to a rigid mount. This is really to give the confidence and the secureness in the handling. In addition to that, we have an all new rear multi-link suspension. This combination will provide the best balance and, and confidence for the driving experience. In addition to that, it's about, now I talk about a driving experience, well, how do you feel that? You feel it through the steering wheel, right? The confidence and the, and the, and the stiffness of the vehicle as you, you're handling, you also feel it through the steering wheel. So that we've taken that now down to the, we call rack-mounted EPS, electronic power steering. This is now for better for precision, it's good for the, the customer's feeling of steering corrections, less steering corrections, um, and it's a, it's a more uh, rigid mount system. This also allows us to enhance the performance of the ProPilot Assist system. This is really key, right? This, the confidence that you get from that system is about your perception of how it keeps the lane centering. So precision lane centering is a key benefit of the uh, rack-mounted EPS electronic power steering system. Our all-new Rogue here has, uh, has a new engine as well, but this engine is common with the Altima. And it's a 2.5 liter DOHC inline four-cylinder engine. So we're getting 181 horsepower. This is plus 11 from the previous model. The torque is up five foot-pounds to 181 foot-pounds. This is that combination of everything though, right? It's the stiffness of the body, it's the mass reduction of the body, it's the new engine, and then we finally link that to the transmission. This is the full package that's eventually gonna give us the fuel economy that we're searching for. So we have this new, um, new system called Vehicle Motion Control. We're gonna say VMC. So this is uh, working in conjunction with our intelligent all-wheel drive system and including things like the new drive mode selector. This is something we noticed where we wanted to improve the snow performance, the sand performance, but this is all about focused performance when you need it. This is what the drive selectors allows you to do. What's unique about it? It's about independent four-wheel control. This is about applying the brakes on the inside of the turn to keep the, the, the trace, right? Keep you on your line. Then when you're coming out of the turn, you're getting, you feel a little spunky, right? Hitting the gas. Well, that's like understeer problem, right? You're coming off your line. No, this is really applying the technology to keep those lines. And other things like active engine braking, uh, kind of bounce control, where you can actually control the brakes to keep it stable. This is about your confidence and feeling and connection to the vehicle on the road. So now let's talk about the all-wheel drive system. Uh, we have a direct coupling all-wheel drive system. This is really cool because we talked a lot about, we kind of evolved our all-wheel drive system. This is really from the past, which was like a mechanical system that would detect slip and then switch to all-wheel drive, the ratio, right? We had a continuous ratio of, of front to rear balance. This is the different. This is about using the inputs across the, uh, all the, the vehicle, about speed, conditions, um, kind of inputs, steering inputs, and make a, electro, a decision, like electronically, to apply the, 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 the all-wheel drive based on those conditions. So it really becomes from kind of a triggered uh, re reaction to kind of an anticipated reaction. So anyways, it's a smarter system. It's really gonna, it's gonna work. As a package, this is really gonna make for a great driving experience and give you, the customer a lot of confidence. I just wanted to give you a high level view of the new Rogue. All the engineering improvements, this is gonna be amazing. They're gonna be in the background, but the customer is gonna have an amazing experience. Go to NissanUSA.com. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the vehicle, can't wait for you to drive it.